Hello you all, you already know what we finna get into. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim would like us to know at this time. So it's an unexpected tower that's going to happen in somebody's life here. It may even bring them fear. It could happen within their family, um, within their money, their foundation, or maybe even their business. There's two people here. There's a, a empress, which this, this person is an empress because they a mother. Because they ain't no empress. They a damn rotten ass karmic with this devil coming out right after it these people are obsessed with an ace of pentacles there's an empress and a, a king of cups that are in devil energy that try to oppress others they try to um you know hurt and harm others these individuals could have capricorn scorpio pisces cancer scorpio again taurus libra in a chart these people are obsessed with somebody's spiritual abundance or obsessed with somebody that is spiritually abundant here with the ace of pentacles this could be a couple or these could be business partners These two people could be family members, um, or they could have a family together. But an unexpected tower is going to happen to them. They can expect the unexpected. Yeah, because whoever they're messing with is chosen. Yeah, these people are obsessed with somebody's spiritual energy, with somebody's energy. They obsessed with this Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Yeah, whoever this chosen one is, they're going to defeat these people. These people are going to be defeated. These people are haters. These people are trying, they want this person to surrender their spiritual abundance. I'm telling you. These people could even possibly want this person's destiny. These people could have been trying to change this person's fate too as well. These people, yeah, this could have been a part of a plan. These people could be in some type of group. Or something like that. There could even be a priest or somebody of authority involved here. Somebody could have been saying, oh, everything is fine. No, it's not. Somebody, somebody, there could be some type of priest or preacher or somebody of authority that could have been like, oh, everything is fine. You know, it's not. This person don't know nothing, can't see shit. This is the enemy. This person could be a father figure. Somebody could be a part of a cult or a group. Somehow everything is fine. No, it's the Ten of Swords. And these people is going to experience the Ten of Swords.
this person is a liar with the seven of swords whoever this is they actually in fear they actually in fear but these individuals been trying to change the fortune the fate and the destiny of this chosen one right here trying to defeat them but these people have a lack of experience when it comes to spiritual matters for real these people uh run with the devil these people are cruel they try to oppress others they're very materialistic um they could also they also could have felt like they could take this from this person because they're young um too as well but these people want this person to surrender their spiritual abundance but as you can see this person is smiling and them two people gonna be walking off fucking sad and they gonna get karma all they doing is changing their fate to where these people gonna be on the bottom and that person gonna be chilling on the top It's a shame. A shame, a shame. Would people be so thirsty to do? They're obsessed with this person's spiritual energy. Yeah, these people gonna get these people are gonna get karma for this sneaky, underhanded stuff. These people thought that they was gonna be able to sneak away too as well with it. This after this ultimate betrayal here, no. No, <laughs> things is definitely going to balance out and somebody is going to hit a dead end too. These people could be in fear. Something is going to get laid to rest with this dealing with these people. Could even be them. They're going to meet a dead end. Their karma. These people karma is the seven of swords, ten of swords, um, four of swords. You get what you give. Six of Pentacles. That's what that's what's gonna happen to these two assholes. These are some assholes. Two assholes. You get what you give out. That's their karma. And this is the truth about them. This this is this is being illuminated. These people are gonna face an ending here. These people are gonna face an ending because whoever this 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 sun energy that these two people be messing with that they be trying to oppress that they be trying to take their energy that they be trying to defeat so bad this person is protected by the sun they gonna get the power and victory over these people this person has a higher status spiritually than these people this person has a higher calling and will always be rescued this person is the ace of cups in the justice so things is gonna balance out see these people karma is the seven of swords ten of swords four of swords because these people are messing with somebody that's ranked spiritually higher than them Yeah, because what this other person has, it's eternal. They can't mess with that. They are chosen. This person is in alignment spiritually. It's perfected in the spirit. That's why judgment is being called on these people too. The veil is being lifted up. This person, even while these people was doing whatever this is that they was doing, this person was still supported by the divine. 
This is a divine feminine. Very abundant, regardless. And this person took the opportunity to still look ahead, look forward. So something is gonna be illuminated with these people. It's another. It's an emperor in there, and I've seen a king of swords. An emperor, a king of swords. These two individuals here. Is there anything else we need to know about this? No. These two people is just going to get what they've been giving out. Yep. So whatever y'all two been doing spiritually, expect it to come right back. Because y'all getting karma for that shit. And y'all going to be defeated. Y'all got defeated by this chosen one. And y'all faded karma is to get stabbed in y'all back as well. Y'all faded karma is to be lied to as well. Y'all faded karma is to be in the Ten of Swords and at a dead end. Y'all karma is to be in fear, have anxiety. Be ultimately betrayed. Y'all just changed y'all fate trying to take the energy in abundance of divine chosen ones you changed your own fate that's all y'all did and that's what you get when you're messing with old lucy see y'all probably thought that y'all yeah oh okay y'all thought by what y'all was doing that y'all was going to receive this abundance by working with the devil this is what y'all thought that y'all was going to be gifted and abundant by messing with the devil but instead see the devil is a liar <laughs> so just like y'all sneaky underhanded and tricky people and this is what y'all want it to be this is what y'all gonna receive so y'all are going to be the ones getting breadcrumbed both of y'all Y'all gonna be brought to y'all knees. Both of y'all. And then there's two people on this devil card. Y'all gonna be bound to the devil. Y'all thought that y'all was gonna receive this gift. This spiritual gift and this abundance. Y'all thought y'all was gonna receive good news. But instead y'all received the five of swords. And y'all receiving karma. Seven of Swords, Ten of Swords, Four of Swords, and both of y'all is going to get breadcrumbed. And it's two of y'all. Y'all could be a family or something like that. But y'all was going to somebody that was also like um, higher ranking, like a, 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 a priest or, um, you know, a priest, a voodoo person, whomever, y'all was going to somebody that was, that had some type of high position. But they asked karmic too. And this is the truth about what y'all did and it's being illuminated here. But y'all gonna be bound to the devil for what y'all wanted. Hey, look, and it's, then it's two of y'all right here. Look, it keeps showing the both of y'all. Look at that tower. Y'all gonna get thrown out, and y'all not gonna have no soft landing. Y'all can expect the unexpected. Two people here and an elder. That elder could be that emperor. Then we got two people here. Here, here go both of y'all here. And then here go both of y'all here being breadcrumbed. I'm telling you. And then both of y'all on this devil card. And then both of y'all in this five of swords walking away defeated. Mm, 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 mm. Just to confirm to make sure it ain't one individual. Are these two people that work together? Yep. Y'all was working together. 
Thought y'all had it in the bag too. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. So the signs that we have out here, we have Leo, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. We're going to pull a grateful heart message because it is something to always be grateful for. Um, for especially for you chosen ones, y'all spiritual abundance, y'all spiritual energy. The fact that these people um, are being defeated. And, you know, things are balancing out. Yep, great is our Yahweh. His understanding is infinite. The fact that they couldn't just take that from y'all uh, is definitely something to be grateful for. So we're going to pull a grateful heart message. <coughs> you prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything and tell Yahweh what you need and thank him for all he has done. Do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. So you ain't got nothing to worry about. I told y'all <laughs> confirmation of the messing with chosen people. Trying to take their spiritual abundance and their spiritual energy. And then them people in karmic energy, so they wasn't taking it for nothing nothing good or prosperous. For some whack shit. Some whack stuff. Ugh. We got here, Yahweh's blessings are as wide and as deep as the ocean. Ooh, it came out, y'all. Great is our Yahweh. His understanding is infinite. Yahweh sustains the humble. Because y'all chosen ones, y'all was humble. Y'all wasn't trying to take nobody's spiritual energy and trying to defeat them and doing all of this hoopla. <laughs> we got here oh the joys of those who delight in the law of Yahweh they are like trees planted along the river bank so even while these people were doing this here and trying to oppress and inflict suffering on you chosen ones uh, by you delighting in the law of Yahweh do you know how them trees planted along the river bank they still get that water that nutrients too as well it says here, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from Yahweh. So the divine helped you all through, through this here. It says here, I will praise Yahweh's name in song and glorify him with thanksgiving. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Yahweh. The blessing of Yahweh be upon you. Yahweh crowns you with love and mercy. A paradise crown. He wraps you in goodness, beauty, eternal. Remember when I said what y'all have is eternal. Um, and this is divine mercy and grace for, you know, the chosen ones too as well here. Praise Yahweh from whom all blessings flow. Five grateful heart messages represent spirit. At the bottom of the deck, blessed are all who take refuge in Yahweh. So I hope you all um, oh, listen to James Brown, Payback. That just was running through my mind. Listen to James Brown, Payback. And listen to Little Dirk featuring J. Cole, All My Life. Listen to those two songs. Those might have extra messages in there for you. I hope you all got a message from this read that'll help you along your journey. Know that Yahweh loves you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace.